Now, Jack Smith is an interesting character. He comes out of the Justice Department. He's a longtime Justice Department um, appointee or civil servant, I think. I don't think he was a political guy. I think this was his first um, political appointment, although I think he was a U.S. attorney. Well, his, appoint his background is what it was. Uh, but I do know he was running the public integrity section at the Justice Department. Yes, there is a public integrity section of the Justice Department, despite all evidence to the contrary. And Judicial Watch uncovered how that Justice Department agency was working with Lois Lerner to try to figure out ways to prosecute the same groups and people that Lerner's IRS was abusively targeting. So it wasn't just giving them audits or delaying their applications for Tea Party groups. It was figuring out ways to put them in jail. And as a result of that investigation, we found out that the IRS gave virtually every document they had on um, social welfare organizations or political groups here in the United States to the FBI, FBI in violation of the law. Smith, according to the records we uncovered, uh, directed his, uh, the head of the Justice Department's election crimes branch to meet with uh, uh, Lois Lerner. In one email obtained by Judicial Watch, Lerner discussed an idea that the Justice Department had that could build false statement cases against tax-exempt conservative groups. So their theory of the law was, again, unprecedented novel applications of the law to try to jail then the political enemies of Barack Obama, or as they perceived them. Uh, they were saying if you filed an application saying you were going to do this as a political group and you did, quote, that, meaning spent too much money on politics, that you were going to be prosecuted for signing a fake, uh, you know, a false statement. It was, it was completely outrageous. Just think about that. You sign a form saying you're going to engage in uh, social welfare activities, which allows political spending to a certain amount, and they decide subsequently you spent more money than you should have, according to their own new rules, and they're going to put you in jail for, quote, lying to begin with. I mean, even Lerner was skeptical of that, but of course she cooperated fully. So this is where Jack Smith came from. His people were figuring out ways how to jail Obama's political enemies just before the 2012 re-elections for Obama. And people wonder what happened to the Tea Party groups after 2010. They had that big victory in 2010, and then they disappeared for 2012. Well, they were suppressed by Lois Lerner's IRS in league with the Justice Department agency then run by Jack Smith, who now again is targeting Trump in the eve, on the eve of another election for Obama's vice president, now President Joe Biden. Just, just corrupt, corrupt, corrupt.